All right, you guys. So since about like 1030 or so this morning, I've just been on this crazy search and I just, I can't seem to find what I'm looking for. Like I'm looking high, I'm looking low. Like I don't, I don't know what to do at this point. Like I'm looking behind my TV, like it's not there. Like I'm rummaging through my closet. Like I'm looking right, I'm looking high, I'm looking left, I'm looking low. I just, I can't, I can't find it. It's not out there. It ain't out there. Like, it seems like no matter where I look, I just can't seem to find the people who still think Urban Meyer isn't here for the long term. Also, I cannot seem to find the people who still think the London Jaguars is still a thing. Ooh, man, I know you're crying. You're crying. You hate it. The Jaguars will never leave Jacksonville. After today, I'm convinced. They will never leave the city of Jacksonville. Duval will keep its football team for all eternity. I had to throw this shirt on today because this guy right here, if any of you doubted that this man is not here for the long stay, if he's not here for multiple, multiple, multiple years, and his, if you still doubt that his goal is not so to bring championships, be a long-term image, long-term figure in our organization, you're delusional. You are delusional. The Jaguars announced today that they have almost $500 million worth of a proposal to the city of Jacksonville for renovations to downtown Jacksonville. They want hotels, the whole, like the, sh I, uh, like the shipyard thing, all of that. It looks gorgeous. Not only that, the Jaguars are getting renovations done to TIA Bank Field. And they still want to play in Jacksonville. So they are going to get that um, new facility. They're going to get a brand new facility on the side that they will be playing with while the renovations at TIA Bank Field are being done. So kind of like what I'm thinking is that one season where the Rams played in like a little, or was it the Rams? Yeah, it was the Rams. It was also the Vikings. They played in like this little crappy thing. The Jags may have to do that. I'm not ne necessarily sure if that's going to implement this season. Well, I guess it comes down to the whole thing actually being approved, being set forth into motion. But it's there. It's there because of this guy. This guy and Shad Khan, I take back everything I have ever said about Shad Khan. Shad Khan is dedicated to the city of Jacksonville. He's dedicated to the Jaguars being there. He's dedicated to winning. Um, if, you're, if you love this football team, how are you not excited right now? How are you not... I've never lived a day in Jacksonville, and I'm super, super excited and just super happy for the people who actually live there. If there was anyone left that still kind of feared or wondered if the team would move, if Shad Khan would sell the team, it's over. It's over. You will never lose your football team. I'm convinced of it. I am convinced. I will only have to fly for an hour and 40 minutes instead of whatever, however long it is to fly from Philadelphia to London. Honestly, I don't think I would ever do that because I hate flying, but that's beside the point. The Jaguars are moving up. They're moving up, guys. And it's because of Urban Meyer. We are we are so lucky to have this guy. Like, I, I'm excited. I'm sitting here sweating profusely because of that little thing I just did. One, because I'm really out of shape. Two, because I'm just, I'm, I'm excited. If you can't tell by my stuttering, I normally don't do that. I'm excited, you guys. Like, it's done. It's dead. I made a video about two weeks ago. How long will the Jaguars play in London? Not much longer. Not much longer. Not much longer. The Jacksonville Jaguars will never leave Jacksonville. Ever.